This is the human test for people who work in an office. Please make a mark with your pencil if something applies to you. Ready? Have you ever sat in an open floor plan where the power outlets were in a sunken gap between desks? And have you wanted to find the person who designed that and surgically move their mouth between their shoulder blades so it was as hard for them to eat as it is to plug in your f***ing power book? Have you ever heard that your favorite snack was being discontinued from the snack shelf and felt a flame of protest arise inside of you that exceeded any passion you had for a political or social cause? On Bagel Day, have you ever taken just the top half of an everything bagel with the misplaced confidence that in this world there exists some person that would be excited to find just the bottom half of an everything bagel? Have you ever grabbed a ballpoint pen and thought it was defective until you realized there was a tiny plastic ball on the tip blocking the ink? And have you felt like removing that little nib was so satisfying that you wish you could remove a little nib on your soul somewhere and release the tightness of your stomach and let life flow out of you freely? Have you ever panicked at some work function when you found out that you had to share a fun fact about yourself? and felt like it was some cruel competition designed by most likely a slightly interesting to make you realize how boring your life has been? Have you ever leaned into the bathroom mirror to look at your face causing the water that some idiot splashed on the counter to stain your crotch parts? And have you ever then splashed even more water on yourself to make it look less like you peed yourself and more like, well, you hadn't really thought that through? Has a co-worker ever said in the nicest way, you look tired, when in fact you weren't tired at all? But now you feel bad because you know you look like crap for some unknown reason, and somehow your co-worker gets credit for caring. They're like an evil genius. Have you ever had difficult bowels and tried to time your explosive evacuations with the flush of a colleague? Have you ever failed to do this and then felt like you had to wait until that person left to come out of the stall? And that turned out to be a long time. And have you worried that they might recognize your shoes? Have you ever been in a meeting and seen ripples form in your water glass and thought you were experiencing a minor earthquake, but then realized it was just the person sitting next to you, bouncing their knees like a child who had to go to the bathroom? Have you ever woken up anxious from a drunken, oversharing night with a colleague, but then arrived at work and found that somehow, magically, you were now bonded as real-life friends? Pencils down and pause for an intermission from our sponsor and fishes. Have you ever hidden in a locking bathroom or in one of those silly pod chairs at work and then popped in earbuds to escape for a moment? For those little breaks, Audible.com has thousands of stories, podcasts, meditations, and more to choose from. For me, I love listening to authors that have mastered the narration of their own words. Like David Sedaris reading Calypso in his casual, heartbreakingly funny strut. Tiffany Haddish in her incredible smile-inducing voice narrating The Last Black Unicorn. Or Mythos by Stephen Fry who's had a lifetime love affair with not just words, but how to say them perfectly. Visit audible.com slash Z-E-F-R-A-N-K or text Z-E-F-R-A-N-K to 500-500. Every month you'll get one credit to pick any title, plus two Audible originals from a monthly selection. You'll also get access to daily news digests from sources like the New York Times, as well as guided meditation programs to chill you out a bit before you go back to your desk. Download titles, listen offline, anywhere, anytime. Visit audible.com slash Z-E-F-R-A-N-K or text Z-E-F-R-A-N-K to 500-500. Have you ever felt like the strip of toilet paper someone hung to cover the gap left by the bathroom door was a metaphor for how your company was addressing obvious fundamental problems with the business? Has a colleague's repetitive pen clicking ever reminded you of a woodpecker that climbed inside of your mouth and was trying to peck its way out of your face? Have you ever felt the simple joy in stopping the microwave just before it beeps, leaving one second on the timer? And have you ever cursed the person who used the microwave right before you and left one second on the timer? Have you ever been on a hike on the weekend and caught yourself putting someone from work in their place in your mind? 
and then realized that the only place you were going to put them was in your mind on a hike on the weekend. Have you ever wondered, after attending a meeting where everyone seems to have heard something completely different, how your company has achieved anything at all? Have you ever watched someone at work find their voice, their strength, and their confidence, and felt so proud? Has that someone ever been you? Has someone ever left a note on your office chair? And for a moment you wanted to tell that person that unless the message was for your butt, the better place to put it would be on your desk, where every other single thing you pay attention to is located. Have you ever had a relationship with someone that only exists because it was too awkward to stand in silence while coffee was brewing? And now when you get coffee, you hope that they are there. Have you ever watched someone use hand sanitizer right after shaking your hand and had the urge to lick their keyboard? Has a deskmate ever brought you back something small from a trip? And that small thing felt so special. Have you ever had such pain in your life that you were so thankful to have a place that needed you and made some semblance of sense in a world that seemed to be falling apart? Has the clean reverence that you felt when you first started at your place of work been overgrown by the vines of petty things and jealousies, small victories, alliances, and betrayals? Have you ever found yourself saying, thank God it's Friday, when you once said you would never say, thank God it's Friday? Have you ever read a co-worker's goodbye note and sent a gif of a cat crying? and watched as others tried to claim the empty desk like beetles on a rabbit's carcass, and realized that it was probably time for you to leave too. If you answered yes to five or more of these, you are a human. This concludes the human test.